Moving on to more sports, with Novak Djokovic's vaccine exemption and visa controversy somewhat resolved, tennis players and fans could finally focus on two weeks of matches at the Australian Open. And here we are at the business end of the tournament, but the singles finals aren't quite set because the other men's finalist has yet to be confirmed. Stefano Tsitsipas and Daniel Medvedev playing their semi-final at this moment, who will meet Rafael Nadal in the final. The Spaniard, of course, vying for a record 21st major title. On the women's side, a showdown between Ashley Barty and Daniel Danielle Collins on Saturday evening. World number one, Barty aiming to become the first home champion down under since 1978, but 30th ranked Collins showing that she belongs on the Grand Slam stage as well. Here for a finals preview is assistant sports editor Rohit Bridgenath who joins us from Melbourne. So Nadal has been tested. By his opponents, I mean by Denis Shapovalov, then by Matteo Berrettini earlier today. Well, as the other semi-final is still going on, Rohit, who poses a better, a bigger threat to Nadal? Tsitsipas or Medvedev? And actually, do you ultimately think that it will be Nadal who will get that 21st Grand Slam come Sunday night? Okay, many questions. Uh, uh, I, I, I hope he gets it. Uh, it'll be really nice to see one of the old guys uh, win again and for him to get his 21st. I think first thing is, uh, how does Nadal play? And I, I think the great thing is that he came out uh, after his quarterfinal and came into the semifinal today and started really well, which is what he does often quite well and what he needs to do in the final. Because he doesn't really want to have a long match. That's for sure. And uh, he, you know, he, say, he says his foot is still hurting. But, you know, it's Nadal. He somehow he manages the pain and he manages adversity and he keeps going. So he has a 3-1 record against Medvedev and a 7-2 record against Sissipas. Sissipas, the last time they played in the Australian Open, beat him in five sets after Nadal was two sets to love up. But I still think he'd rather play Sissipas because Sissipas, A, has got a single-handed backhand. And secondly, I think Medvedev has the ability to elongate points, which is something that Nadal doesn't want. He doesn't want to keep rallying from the baseline. And, of course, Medvedev has a big serve, probably a little bit better serve than Sissipas. But if you ask me, I think that he would probably like to pay Sissipas a little bit uh, more than he'd like to play Medvedev. I think what he'll be really hoping for is a very long second, second semi-final. <laughs> Well, moving on to tomorrow's women's final between Ashley Barty and Danielle Collins. Collins, definitely the surprise finalist here after she upset seven seed Iga Sviatek. But Rohit, how much of a shot does she have against the top-ranked Barty, who will no doubt also have the home crowd behind her? I think actually this could be, it could be a really fascinating and fantastic match because I think Really, what you want in contrast, what you want in tennis is contrast, which is what basically Federer and Nadal gave us. And I think you're going to find that here because Collins is a really big hitting player. And Barty, of course, can do everything. You know, she has that slice. And that slice, I think, of Barty is going to be the key to the final. Because players often find it very difficult to play because it slows down the game. There's no pace on it. They have to generate their own pace and also control it and hit it deep. So it's not easy, right? The other thing Barty does very well, of course, is that she serves very well. For a woman who's not very tall, she has, I think she has the second highest aces in the tournament. But I think what is really interesting is that Collins, so Barty has a 3-1 record against Collins. But Collins beat her the last time they met. And the other thing is, in two of the other matches where Barty beat Collins, it went to three sets. So obviously, she doesn't mind playing Barty. So that's really interesting. But I think what is two other things. One is Barty is going to have some pressure on her, obviously, because no Australian woman has won the Australian Open since, I think, 1978. So that's there. And she is the prohibitive favourite. And then, of course, for Collins, you have that old thing of nothing to lose. But, of course, she's in a first final. Uh, Barty has already won women in the French Open. Collins has never been to a final. That's bound to make her a little bit nervous. So I think... That is going to be quite crucial in how they basically process their nerves in the early part of the match. I still think that Barty has to be the favourite because she's just playing extremely well. And I think 
because she won Wimbledon last year, I think she's very comfortable in her skin. I think there's a certain aura about her. I think people realize often women's tennis, you're not really sure who is the best player in the world. Now it's very clear she is the best player in the world. But of course, she has to prove it tomorrow.